Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot bringing Scorpios their monthly love read. Scorpio, this is for December 2022. I can't believe we are already in December of 2022. It doesn't seem possible. We're getting cards on you, them, and the connection, guys. Oh, we get four. Um, you, them, and the connection in terms of a love read. We're going to get some oracle cards and some message cards. These are general reads, so please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. If you feel like um, this is not your read or it's way off, then go ahead and check your moon and your rising signs. If you're unsure what your moon and your rising signs are, there is a link in the description box below that will get you to a, um, a website to give you what your moon and your rising signs are. You just put in a little bit of information. And there's also a link in the description box to my personal webpage if you're interested in a personal read. All right, Scorpio, so you're showing up. Um, your overall energy is this King of Pentacles energy, which I think is a saving grace here. I think this is actually really your your kind of vibe of being this King of Pentacles. I feel like um, this connection will be grounded, stable, loyal, committed, caretaking, financially stable, emotionally stable. But I feel like um, there's going to be some tough choices maybe in tough situations between you and your person that you're going to have to do and they're going to have to do with you're going to have to do together um, but i definitely see this as a very grounded committed loyal situation um you guys have three out of four cards that are major arcanas to describe yourself so i feel like you are definitely going through some situations um the first two cards that popped out were the devil and the eight of cups i feel like um so the devil card can be addictions, right? It can be uh, like drug use, alcoholism, sex addiction, sex addictions, um, workaholism, alcoholism. Like it could be any kind of addiction, but it is it can also be this like obsessive, compulsive overthinking that's just kind of destroying your happiness, right? Um, I see this becoming something you're walking away from. In this Eight of Cups energy, this person has a nice cup, right? This nice cup full of good stuff. But she's walking towards her son, which is her true happiness, her joy, her positivity. The sun. The sun card in tarot is actually the most positive card in the deck. It's optimism, it's joy, it's happiness, it's positivity. It's potentially a new baby. But I think what's happening here is you're walking away from this devil kind of energy. You're walking away from these vices and thoughts that are keeping you restricted. And you're moving towards your son. Um, you're showing up as this uh, true love, soulmate energy, um, potential marriage if you want marriage, committed relationship. But with lots of positivity, joy, happiness, and optimism. So I think you're, you're going through something that you're moving towards a lot of happiness. And you're moving toward, you're showing up as a, a soulmate for someone, true love, soulmate energy. Your person, um, I feel like your person's been through quite a bit. They're showing up as the four of pentacles. This is someone that's very guarded with their heart, um, keeping themselves a bit closed off, right? But this person wants a stable, committed, loyal start, a new start with you. They're grounded, they're they're committed, they're wanting to be uh, with someone, they're very balanced, they're emotionally stable, they're financially stable, and they're trying to establish a new situation with you. They're not communicating that, they're um, collecting information from you uh, through friends of friends or through social media. They're gathering lots of information, but without coming to you directly. So this person, I think, is doing this because they're really guarded with their heart and they don't want to be hurt again. Um, and I feel like, guys, in the situation with you and your person, the connection is showing up as there's going to be a choice that has to be made. Um, there's a lot of anxiety and someone is feeling as if they're being left out in the cold. So I don't know if um, this is kind of like all pre-choice, right? You also are showing up. Um, this is also a choice in love. Um, so potentially you're the one that's going to make the choice of um, first you're not sure what you're going to do. You're blinded. You are kind of in a place of I'm not sure where to go. I'm indecisive. And your indecision is going to create stress and anxiety and have someone feel as if they've been left out in the cold. However, guys, um, I feel like with this being the bottom of the deck energy, this king of pentacles, 
Um, this is going to be the reality of your situation. Stable, grounded, committed, loyal. This is the Ten of Pentacles. This is a blended family. This is a house, a home. This is commitment. This is long term. This is marriage. This is, um, you know, a house, a home, a dog, a husband, a wife. Commitment, loyalty, emotional stability, financial stability. So I think you guys, you guys are going to go through some growing pains um, together in your relationship, but it's going to end up very stable and solid. And I think it's because um, you have to walk away from something. Someone else has already been through lots of stuff. So when you come together, there's going to be some indecision between probably the both of you, which is going to create anxiety and stress and feeling left out um, between one or both of you. But it's going to be kind of uh, pointless and unnecessary because this is how you're going to end up, which is really nice. Let's get the Love and Romance Journey Oracle cards from... Queen Sugar Tarot, excuse me, for Scorpio. Longing. Wedding. <laughs> Tired and standing, yeah. So, like, I feel like that's what I'm saying. Like, your person's showing up as a Four of Pentacles. You're showing up as a Six of Cups. Um, or, I'm sorry, the Eight of Cups. Together, you guys have the Five of Swords or the Five of Pentacles energy. You're tired and standing, but you're both longing for a very positive outcome. And this is showing up as a wedding, guys. So, I think that, um, you know, as much as you guys are tired, you're going to keep moving forward. The bottom of the deck, we have a new pathway. So, I think you're going to keep moving forward and make those decisions and um, find, uh, you know, the path towards this stable committed loyal relationship that's going to result in a marriage let's get the soul reflections love oracle deck look for signs on a pedestal does this hurt the relationship and passion so maybe um someone has put somebody else on a pedestal maybe your person is like oh this scorpio is the best thing that's ever been and that does kind of hurt the relationship because they feel like they are inferior to you. Um, for this situation, though, if you're not sure who this person is, look for signs. You will receive them from the universe, God, your spirit guides, whatever you want to call it. And this will be a very passionate situation as well as grounded. All right, let's get some heart-to-heart -heart messages from Crystal Moon Oracle for Scorpio and their person. You will forever be my always. Can you feel me when I think about you? I wonder if I'm on your mind as much as you're on mine. Maybe that's some of that devil energy too. Maybe Scorpio's thinking about their person a lot. Let's get some love vibe cards from King of Aloha. I see myself having kids with you. You're my ideal type. I want to get to know you better, and I would do anything to be with you right now. All right. Sounds like decisions are being made there, right? <laughs> Maybe those are some things that are going to prompt this connection. Once decisions are made and those statements are given, um, that will propel the situation forward. We're going to get White Rose Guidance, Divine Love Messages for Scorpio and their person. We got one message that flipped out. Now we have two. I can see eternity in your eyes, and I live for your smile and would die for your kiss. Wow. I live for your smile, and I would die for your kiss. All right, guys, we're going to finish up your read with the Fairy Tale Oracle. So this deck is really interesting to me. I feel like it's more of an advice deck and not necessarily anything related to this love read that I'm doing. Um, this is Fairy Ointment, number 43. I think Taurus has got this one, too and it's called The Sight. Um, it actually has a very long story about fairy ointment, um, and I'm not gonna read all that. Instead, I'm gonna read what it means if you get this card, okay? Because um, otherwise, I'll be sitting here reading forever, and I'm already sleepy, and I've been kind of skipping through it because it's like too much. Um, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Now, when this card comes to you, know that there are times when you see what you see with your gift and your sight. And 
into it more than words, I'm sorry, and into it more than others wish you to know. You must choose wisely when to speak of this and when to keep this silent and only to yourself. For when we have gifts, some boast of them, and that is no way to use the gift. You will, when you work with your gift humbly, and only when you are openly asked to give help, be able to use it. But at other times it is best to keep it very, very quiet. And never take anything from the fairies without um, them offering it to you first. For to take from them is to lose a great deal. The meaning of this card is think before disclosing your gifts. Psychic powers must be treated with respect. Never attempt to take someone's power. Treat nature in the realms of the fairies with great respect. Ask, do not take. Speak of your gifts with wisdom and discretion. It is not always wise to speak of what you see without invitation. So that's your message, Scorpio. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Um, and take care. Until next time, guys. Thank you so much.